also got some news to tell you that uh, I brought it up last time and I tell you about Haas. You like being out here? Huh? You do? Okay. Hey guys, Fester Baker, Cross Timbers, Bison, Dunbar. Loves the cold weather. Me, not so much. Ponds are frozen. We got a lot of work to do. We got to bust some ice, uh, get hay out, and we're gonna freeze our hands. So, all for you guys. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Well, hello. Good morning. You've got lots of thick hair to keep you warm. Let's go see Cora. All right. Our beauty's fed. Chickens seem to be doing okay. okay. Ice is definitely frozen. Got them some feed here. So they don't have to go outside. Feed them around here. That way they're okay. Our eggs are in there. These mama hens fed. Whew. Big Joe Herd's way out there. Definitely got some. Oh yeah. Seven degrees outside this morning. As you can see, I'm bundled up. Your feet and your hands get cold. That's when it goes bad. Woo! Uh, Jackie's water's a little frozen. So automatic water with heat element in it that we worked on previously um, is doing good. A little bit of frozenness here on the edges. Other than that, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> Bison, come up here and drink. And got some water on it, didn't take long to freeze it, but huge, huge help here. Major advantage to have an automatic water. So the Dunbar herd, Dunbar can come in here and get it. The calves can get feed, hay, and roll in here and get it as well. Automatic water system, all you gotta do is just make sure, obviously it's running. So, uh, major benefit on days like this when it's seven degrees and uh, you don't have to draw water, essentially. And you just basically double check it and make sure it's uh, it's still running, so that's a it's a good thing. That little calf, it's a nice little calf. Good looking little bull calf. Long. What are you looking at? I also got some news to tell you that uh, I brought it up last time, and I tell you about Haas. We just left the Dunbar. Uh, group here and we took Haas out and I'll tell you where Haas is. up the big fella here little calf everybody else getting some too she is little heifer's getting some too all right let's spread some more out 
everyone. Morning, Bell Star. Pretty thing. Hey, girl. All right. Let's get a little bit make more for you, Big Joe. How about some more? Okay. Jackie. Really thought the edges would be frozen, but really it's only spotty. So you see this big area here, looks like that's where the wind's blowing and it's uh, frozen here. Maybe a little bit of frozen in the cove along the edges, but this is nothing. Uh, that should slow the bison down. And plus, they're so smart, they know how to find water um, here on the edges. It's obviously, let's see. It's not terrible, not bad, um, but definitely, definitely frozen here on these area uh, in this corner here. Uh, but. I know up in the north, a lot of them are completely frozen. One year, it was so cold, I had to come down here and uh, bust the ice with my skid steer. <laughs> Instead of me doing it myself and wearing myself out, use the skid steer, and it worked out really well. But if the bison need water, they'll come down here. They can step out there a little bit. You can see some um, hoof stomps in there uh, just from the past. But something else... Uh, Something else Marissa and I talked about doing. We've got all these native pecan trees. We've got, Marissa counted like 48 the other day. And uh, they were loaded this year because we had a lot of good early spring and summer rains. And then it got really dry. But here's an example of one of our native pecans. And they are loaded, still loaded. They're, uh, there's still quite a few of them in the trees hadn't fallen out yet but a bunch of them have fallen but we've got a friend we finally found somebody that may be able to come harvest and and actually do a, a tree shaking and, and harvest the ones off the ground maybe so we're uh we're excited about that maybe you know it's here we've got the pecans look at this awesome tree a lot of them are all loaded uh, a down with these, these pecans. These are much smaller, but if you've ever had one of these compared to a, a paper shell or one from a pecan orchard, uh, they're way different. And personally, I think the native ones taste way better. They're smaller and they're harder to work with, but I think they taste so much better. So Brooks loves these. I'm going to take some to her, but we're going to talk about harvesting these and hopefully they're a little behind on harvest because of, um, the weather and the stuff uh, so hopefully uh hopefully we maybe we can get some pecans harvested someday i also said that i was gonna throw out some more rye in these spots where the hogs were so i've got a little bucket of rye here and uh ethan my buddy at the nrcs looking out for me i came i tried to do it the other day but the uh bison were i waited too long the bison were in here so just throwing out some of this, this is all these hogs do but the hogs have already rooted it up and kind of excavated it a little and so it's all spread out here and there but i'm just getting out here and throwing some of this rye and then the bison will come out here and uh stomp it down and now you've got uh, essentially a seed uh, bank back down in these grooves here where these hogs made all this mess it may not come up right now obviously it's temperatures are cold and you got to have some moisture but now's just a good time they've already done the work for you 
Now I'll just throw, throw some seed out and try to help the ground a little. So definitely a good idea by Ethan watching out, but you can see all of this and this from that white piggy probably and maybe more. Appreciate the comments you guys been leaving. Um, yes, if there's if there's one pig, there's there's probably more, and that one was a strange looking one for sure. But it doesn't take much. They can really do some damage if you don't manage them, and they can do it quick because they can have quite a few litters in a year. So I'm gonna keep throwing this out, and eventually. This rye will take hold. Most of it's rye, I think I threw some oats in there too, but oats have a harder time in the winter. But man, this is a bad one right here. So more than likely there's more hogs, but. Just feeding the chickens is what Kevin would call it. I do have a seed spreader um, sent to me by a good follower gym and uh it works really well but honestly i i didn't think it was this bad of hog damage out here where i needed it but now that i'm out here i'm like man i could use that spreader hey guys welcome back to day two of winter storm no precipitation, which is nice. Got some ponds to bust, bison to feed, chickens, horses, dogs, you name it, cat. Anyways, we got some work to do. It's that time of the year. I'm gonna put a little manual labor into this situation here. I know, I know, an ax would have been great. A pickaxe of some sort uh, would have been great. I currently don't have it with me, so I'm gonna try something. There goes the shovel. Rock bar. Had to use this, unfortunately, several times in this part of Oklahoma. Rock bar's not fun. Definitely is a good workout, but we're gonna use the rock bar here on this situation and try it. Hopefully I don't fall in, but this ice is pretty thick. Let me use the shovel to move the ice, so you guys bear with me. And you, you guys in the north, you already know what this is like right you're used to this you're like this is no thing well we're not you know we're getting used to it the past three or four years you can see they busted it here already look at that that's pretty cool well it needs to be busted again because when i came out here yesterday that part was frozen only none of this was but now it is today but uh, it'll silt down after a little while Look who's in the pasture. Look who it is. I told you I'd talk about him. There he is, Mr. Haas. He's a yes to everything, if you ask him. Do you like being out here? Huh? You do? Okay. Good. I'm glad you do. Well, there's your new buddy, Big Joe. Do you like Big Joe? Oh. No response? Uh huh. You don't want to talk about him in front of him. I understand. I understand. He can hear you. Be careful what you say. He's bigger than you. He's older than you. Yes, I know. Okay. She acts like she wants water, so we've got to figure something out here. 
my uh i wasn't sure if they weren't frozen yesterday but obviously today a little bit different story so we're gonna have to go get some to break this up all right so we just rolled out of bella hay to the big joe herd as you could see mr haas is in here now uh what we're doing right now is all the ponds are frozen pretty solid and i've done this before where i've taken the skid steer and put the pallet forks on um and broken it up uh i may put the grapple on to do this but uh it works really well um and it's uh i can do a better job of busting the ice and i did this i think last year or two years ago and it worked out really well for us so um the bad part is you gotta drive the skid steer everywhere um we typically don't have to break ponds but in this case the big joe herd obviously needs uh water um there's two ponds in this pasture uh and pasture of three for them but um we can bust a couple of them and it be okay uh, we can bust we can bust the edges and stuff and i'm sure they'll refreeze and i'll have to come back over and do it again uh so that's what we're gonna do right now it's just so thick i uh don't know if i can keep breaking obviously a shovel's not gonna work but uh, a pickaxe obviously would work too as well um and if they keep hitting it over the duration of the day they'll keep it from freezing over but it's pretty cold here and so I don't know I know some of you up in the north on my some of my recent comments about how cold it was in some of those places yes I understand it's uh it's a lot colder in uh places uh, like Montana or Wyoming or up north especially in Canada all those places yep that's uh naturally gonna happen right naturally it's gonna be colder up there Here's what's really cold about Oklahoma, and you can ask any Oklahoman this, is it when it's seven, nine, down in the single digits temperatures here, it is really cold. And it well, it feels really cold. The the the, the temperature um doesn't really do it justice here in Oklahoma, is basically what I'm trying to say, because what happens here is the humidity is so much higher than places like wyoming colorado it actually it's a bone chilling cold here um it's just way different i've been in colorado been up north and it doesn't feel the same and i know a lot of okies can vouch for this but there is something about the cold air here and when the wind blows it's really miserable and the wind's been blowing for several days now since this cold front came through so the humidity makes it so much colder here and i'm not saying it gets as cold as it does up there in the north where it's in, in the negatives and stuff i no thank you that's why i live down here uh but um i do think about the farmers and ranchers that do have to go out and bust ice and really prepare all of your water systems for these really 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 cold snaps so anyways i'm gonna shut this gate go grab the skid steer and start busting ice
Well, last night, I uh, forgot to mention, we had some water issues over at the Lynch property, the original place, Mom and Kevin's. Marissa and Kevin and I were out there last night till about 9 or 9.30. Uh, we started about mm, 4 before the sunset, and uh, we even had to take a break and eat dinner. And Mom cooked dinner for us, but uh, what a mess. Because that water well went dry this summer we've had so many issues with it we are planning on see we did a whole bunch of groundwork already years ago for a water system on that property and when the water well went dry it screwed a bunch of things up we were still able to use the water system but had to use real water but it's just one thing can kind of lead to a whole bunch of other things we're going to try to drill another well there but this is uh how our little glimpses of last night went Whew. it's about nine o'clock at night i've had trouble getting water to uh some of our animals at mom and kevin's at the lynch property the og uh one of our tire tanks because of we don't have water well water we've had some major issues getting water to them finally Everything's been freezing and stuff. We're using real water uh, from Mom and Kevin's attached to <laughs> the uh, water well system. Some of the yearlings are out there laying down. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can't see over my breath, but this is a split water system. So you can see they drink on that side and then we've got bulls that drink from this side. So some of our yearlings from the Ponderosa are over there and uh, some of our feeder bulls or some of our uh, other bulls are over here that are in our uh, processing system. Whew. But it's filling up. We're getting there. So I do have to stick my hand down there and put the valve back on because the valve, which is here, Marissa and War went and defrosted put it in the sink it was frozen these job valves they work really really good just a float valve uh they've always done really well for us, for us but the water got too low because uh we just had some water issues well, with hoses and whatnot and the freezing temperatures the water got below the float here here's at the top and uh it should never get below us because this keeps it going the float does but it got below it and this froze up right here in my hand so i had to take it off so we could open up our main and get water to it so i do have to stick my hand down there but luckily I've got an ob glove here to help me <laughs> all right i've got to put this phone down and try to get this on nice and hardy came up here i walked away just for a second until marissa and kevin turned the water off and they've been hanging out here waiting there's one of those old ramps right there from the old dairy barn farm that used to exist here. Isn't that pretty cool? Left it there, but yeah, they already came up there. They're thirsty. They've been with that water for a while. Yeah, it's full! All right. Some of these heifers up here with Dunbar are pretty excited. And I think it's just because I rolled out a couple of bells of hay for them. We're fighting this winter storm with no precipitation, at least down here. But the cold temps, frozen waters, everything. We got it all rolling. Got hay out. Ice broken. We'll do it all over again. Dunbar's happy, taken care of up here. 
our weaning calves, heifers. As you see, everybody's pretty excited, but we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching us and being a part of this. See you guys soon. Keep on bison ranching. Watch it, Dusty. She's right behind you, hon.